Dear listeners and learners, you are listening to Uttarakhand Open University's Community Radio, Hello Haldwani, 91.2 FM. I am Dr. Natasha Negi, Assistant Professor in the Department of English, School of Humanities. In my doctoral research, I focused on the study of Indian literature in English translation. So, I was keen on building a discussion in the field with you all. Today, we are going to discuss about the field of Indian literature in English translation. In India, Indian literature in English translation or ILET is rapidly becoming an indispensable component of literary and cultural studies. So, first of all, what is Indian literature in English translation? And how is it different from Indian English literature? Indian English literature is the body of work by writers in India who write in the English language, but whose native language could be one of the numerous languages of India. For example, the novels Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie and The Shadow Lines by Amitav Ghosh. On the other hand, Indian literature in English translation or ILET refers to the canon of literary works translated from Indian regional languages like Hindi, Marathi, Bengali, Tamil, Malayalam, etc. to English. For example, the poetry collection Gitanjali by Rabindranath Tagore which was translated from Bengali to English language and which also then won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. I am sure you all also must be familiar with Indian novelist Gitanjali Shri's Hindi novel Ret Samadhi, which was recently translated into English as Tomb of Sand by Daisy Rockwell and which won the pre prestigious International Booker Prize in 2022. So this depicts the importance of translation. Translation of regional works helps put our regional literatures on the world literary map. More importantly, the regional literatures in translation help bring forth the cultural significance of particular regions and along with help promote the native languages. As some native words and phrases are retained even in the translations. So, dear learners, today we also have Dr. Mega Pant with us, who is an assistant professor in the Department of English. She has also pursued her doctoral work in the field of Indian literature in translation. Her work is also significant for us as her study focuses on the writers from Uttarakhand. Together, Dr. Megha and I will familiarize you with the domain of Indian literature in translation. So, Dr. Megha, as scholars of English literature, we are mostly introduced with British literature in our bachelor's level programs. But now gradually, Indian literature in translation is also being introduced in various syllabi. So, what do you think about this transition of syllabus being reformed to also accommodate regional literature translation in English? Yes, Natasha. I think this is extremely important and necessary for the growth of our regional literature. For example, Mrinal Pandey's autobiographical fiction, Daughter's Daughter, which was originally published in Hindi as a short story collection under the title Hamko Dio Pardes. Pandey reflects on her childhood years spent in Almora and Nenital in her maternal grandmother's house. She critiques the gendered upbringing and bias against girl children persisting in Uttarakhand. 
मोर ओवर सर्टेन डिस्कोर्सेस पर्टिकुलरली ऑफ कास्ट इन इंडिया कुड बी बेस्ट डिस्कस थ्रू इंडियन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर और इंडियन लिटरेचर इन ट्रांसलेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल थ्रू द ऑटोबायोग्राफीज ऑफ दलित वेमेन राइटर्स फर्दर मोर उत्तराखंड्स रीजनल इशूज लाइक जियोग्राफिकल डिफिकल्टीज माइग्रेशन ऑफ यूथ एंड डेप्रोरेबल कंडीशंस ड्यू टू नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स लाइक लैंडस्लाइड्स क्लाउड बस्ट कुड बी एड्रेस थ्रू इट्स नेटिव्स वर्ड्स हु एक्सपीरियंस अ लिव रियलिटी ऑफ दीज एडवर्स सिचुएशंस येस मेघा आई थिंक इट इज ऑल्सो इंटेग्रल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द लेवल्स ऑफ मार्जिनलाइजेशन फेस्ड बाय द वाइट वुमेन as introduced in Jane Eyre by the British novelist Charlotte Bronte and faced by the women of color in Mrinal Pandey's autobiographical fiction as you explained so megha in my research i came across particular issues of casteism lack of education and basic rights denied to the locals especially the working class people For example, in the works of the Bengali writer Mahashweta Devi, the Tamil writers like P. Sivakami and Living Smile Vidya, like take Mahashweta Devi's short story Draupadi, which brings out the issue of marginalization of tribal people and loss of their traditions and culture. Similarly, Sivakami's novel Taming of Women focuses on raising the issue of lack of education. especially of dalit girl children and also critiques dalit patriarchy in the households on the other hand vidya's autobiography i am vidya delineates the plight of the transgender community in india particularly the issues faced by the dalit trans community in southern india so you know i am curious to know did you locate similar or some distinct issues pertaining to the region of uttarakhand yes natasha you see the issues of lack of education casteism and even communal violence is addressed in several works from uttarakhand now the unfortunate part is that many of these works are not even translated and thus of the reach of the larger audience for example shailesh matiani's novels gopuli gafuran and mahmud and vidya sagar notial's short story matiwali but apart from these during my research i was particularly driven to the work apradhini a short story collection in hindi by the writer shivani it is a jolting and sharing saga of women prisoners lives the work is also translated by her younger daughter ira pande as apradhini women without men these stories are based on poor women from uttarakhand the work helps understand the psyche of women criminals and how often the society's oppression pushes them on the verge of crime but natasha the question arises do these characters lack a sense of agency altogether because ultimately towards the end of the literary works they do not seem to have a happy ending well megha for the poorest of the poor or as ambedkar put it for the one in the lowest rung of the caste system who face quote unquote graded hierarchy i think the ability or the intention to fight back the oppressors should be seen as agential by the readers for example in premchand's short story kafan which is translated as the shroud in english we can observe how the character of budhia a poor woman is shown to be a helpless woman who is not provided any heed by her drunkard husband and father-in-law and finally dies at childbirth 
we can notice here the lack of agency and the sheer victimhood sketched for the poor women characters in literature around the early 20th century however by the late 20th century we can notice in for example mahashweta devi's novel the glory of shri shri ganesh how a dalit woman rukmani chooses to commit suicide than give birth to an illegitimate child with her upper caste oppressor now what is the difference between these two women's deaths while one was a victim of her situations and pushed to her death the other herself chose to die in order to not live a life of oppression i believe that under such harsh realities agency agency sorry should not be read as something black and white rather the choice to fight back and not be submissive should also be counted as agential so megha as i have discussed in my research i came across a lot of english translations from malayalam tamil bengali marathi and other languages as well but i noticed a lack of translation from kumauni to english even though our culture is rich with the writings of several novelists playwrights and poets so how do you reason that yes natasha it is unfortunate that most of the regionally celebrated and even nationally awarded works from uttarakhand are still awaiting translation in english and a way out to reach a global audience but there are a few works of literature like the poems of mangalesh dabral titled proof of a tyrant a day in delhi i had somewhere to go and poetry which are all translated by manas f bhattacharya ji in the year 2020 for the online newspaper the wire these translations have addressed the migrated native spain and longing for home these poems form an integral part of diaspora literature from uttarakhand then the story daju by shekhar joshi is also translated as big brother in the short story collection a death in delhi by gordon c rodarmal in the year 2020 it helps reflect upon the deeply imbibed levels of hierarchy formed in a society thus these texts from uttarakhand not only highlight the regionally specific issues but also address the universally discussed issues like that of class there is a lot of scope both in kumauni writing as well as in its translated works in english so i am sure this discussion would pave a brighter way for future research scholars thank you so much dr megha for agreeing to conduct this insightful session with me i am sure our listeners and learners benefited from today's talk and we hope that we were able to inculcate your interest towards indian literature in english translation thank you